Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be solving 1998 AME problem number 3. Here's a view of this problem. The graph of y squared plus 2xy plus 40 absolute value of x is equal to 400 partitions the plane into several regions. And that's because of that absolute value, obviously. What is the area of the bounded region? So the best way to handle it is first to algebraically analyze this absolute value term. So I will just uh, move y squared plus 2xy onto the right hand side and leave the 40 absolute value of x by itself on the left hand side. So therefore I have this expression right here. Now I know <coughs> that absolute value of x will equal to x itself if x is greater. So we have two cases to study. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, the equation becomes 40x is equal to 400 minus y squared minus 2xy. And if x is strictly less than 0, then in that case, we will have the reverse. Um, so 40 minus x. And now I can simply instead my, multiply the right hand side by, uh, by minus. So we have y squared plus 2xy minus 400. So the best way would be just um, study the first and the second equation or and the first one here and the second one separately. So from the first one here, we can factorize this expression to get that 40x minus. So let's move that 2xy to the left hand side. We have 400 minus y square, which is simply 20 square minus y square. So that can equivalently be represented as so we have 2x which can move out, so 20, um, 20 plus y is equal to 20 minus y, 20, oops, 20 plus y. So the only way this equation would hold is either, huh? so we have either, uh, well, uh, 20 plus y is equal to 0, in which case y is equal to minus 20, or it might be that 20 plus y is not 0. In that case, they would cancel out. And I would have that 2x is equal to 20 minus y. Um, so that already gives us two uh, boundaries. And investigating um, the other equation, basically, we can, uh, we, we, we can implement the same strategy. So we can move that 2xy to the left-hand side. So we have 40x minus 2xy equals um, uh, y squared um, minus 400, which is obviously a difference of squares. So therefore, this is an x, by the way. So therefore, we would have equivalently, we can write that like this. So now, again, like in the previous condition, either um, those terms, um, namely two, 20 minus y and y minus when they are both 0, meaning y is equal to 20. Or it might be that, uh, so or it is that 2x is simply equal to y plus 20. So And then this gives us the remaining two uh, constraints. So now in the next page, I will go ahead and plot these four lines obviously y minus 20 and y plus 20 are parallel so and then they are horizontal lines whereas uh, y is equal to 20 minus 2x here and y is equal to 20 uh, sorry minus 20 plus 2x so you will realize that these two are also um um no uh, i think i might have done a typo here let me check um so obviously i did a typo here because those two so the first case is correct but the second case is kind of wrong because once if 20 minus y is not equal to 0, we can cancel these out and uh, there will be a minus 1 remaining up here. So therefore, that will be minus y. That one would be minus um, 20. So therefore, these two lines will also be parallel as well. So let's go ahead and draw the sketch on the next page. So we have the coordinate axis. And then this one, I guess. Um, we, we know the, uh, the the four lines would look like. Uh, obviously, they will. Um, well, let, let me just draw the lines, and then we can discuss how what its its implication. So this is minus twenty. Y equals twenty, and y equals minus twenty. 
and then we have um, I think we have another one which goes through something like that I guess um, yeah and then probably another one which will go look like this uh, in fact I, I really okay so that's what I want so I want to have these two equations look like parallel which I did now okay so therefore this is uh, 20 here this is minus 20 uh, obviously this is y equals minus 20 this one is y equals 20 and this intersection point I believe should come out as 10 and this end point here is 20 here so this one is minus 10 and this point is minus 20 and obviously the, these equations are simply y is equal to minus 2x plus 20 and this one would be uh, y equals minus 2x minus 20 so therefore we have the area that we were looking for um, this area up here and we need to really find so that th those four lines they describe this area here this closed area and we need to find its um, its area so therefore um, the base is obviously um, 20 here and the height is 20 plus 20 40 so therefore the area of this parallelogram would be 20 uh, oops 20 uh, let, let's just clean that up okay sorry for that 20 times 40 which is 800 and that's the answer hope you enjoyed the video see you in our next lecture